Happy late mod appreciation day. We finally got it. It's finally here. We are living mod view on mobile starting with iOS. I don't know when it's coming to Android, hopefully soon, but today we are going to explore the brand new mobile mod view. They're also coming out with a warning tool. This was teased at my TwitchCon panel and just TwitchCon overall. And this is coming in May and I'm very, very, very excited. If you guys like mod tips like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you never miss another video from me. I'm on the way from a thousand subscribers and it would mean the absolute world to me if you did. Without further ado, let's go into Twitch Mobile. I'm very excited. So obviously, you're going to go into the mobile app. It's going to show you the feed. I'm going to turn my volume down. I am just gonna go somebody that I mod for. I know they're live right now because I am in mod view in PC. So you have the chat rules. I'm gonna go over here. <gasps> mod view. Oh my god, we have a little tour. <gasps> that graphic looks so good. Okay, mod view. Mod tools right at your fingertips. Literally. Okay, start tour. Your mobile control panel. Keep your eyes on chat and other activities by swiping or tapping through different widgets. Ooh. Do we finally have polls? Please tell me we have polls. Personalize your view. Okay, so you can add which widgets that you want. Now, I wonder if it stays through, like, all of mod view, like PC does, or if it's, like, individual streamer. We appreciate you. Because mods like you, Twitch is fun. Uh, Twitch is a fun and safe place for millions of people. Mod view helps you access the tools that you need all in one place. Okay. <gasps> Okay. Okay. So can I tap this? Okay, this is our activity feed. So you can see all of the things here. Okay, we have quick actions. I don't know what all of these do, but we'll get to that in a minute. We have shield mode. Oh no, this is auto mod. Okay. Thought that was shield mode. That would have been bad if I pressed it, but okay, and now we have all the mod actions. I might blur that. <laughs> and then you can see all the widgets here. Okay, perfect. So, okay, so we have all the widgets here. You can turn them on and off. You can, like, put them in a certain order. Yeah. Actually, no. I like this order. So, we have chat, which keeps tabs on chat. Duh. We have the activity feed, so you can view the follows, the subs, channel points, bits, and more. We have quick actions to so perform things quickly, like slow mode, emo only, stuff like that. You can clip something very quickly there. I saw a little clip button. Yeah. And then we have auto mod, of course. You can see the auto mod queue to check the flagged messages, and then we have the mod actions, which sees all of the mod actions. So I'm scared. Do I just tap on it? You could just tap on it, and you can either timeout, ban, delete. Uh, timeouts again are 10 minutes default. Uh, you can see all of the messages. So this is just a message log from somebody. Timeouts and bans. Obviously, this person hasn't been timed out. Mod comments, they're all there. They also make like a little like vibratey noise i don't know if that's a glitch or not but it does not let you go all the way back to so this is kind of like mod view as well it says the session how many viewers they have and how many followers are on the side um i don't think pc mod view does the the exact follows but it's pretty cool to see okay so you have your chat your chat settings uh on the three dots on top of the chat you have email only, subscribers only, followers only, slow mode is there. If you scroll down, you have your chat identity and again, just all your chat settings. I'm going to make sure I'm not doing anything crazy, like pressing any buttons. I shouldn't be. <laughs> you have your channel points on the side here uh, and then you have your bits and your emotes there. Your next tab on the bottom. <laughs> on the bottom, you have like this little like heartbeat thing <laughs> that is your activity feed so you can see that somebody rated there's little symbols so uh just in case like you know you'll learn the symbol so the channel points is a little bubble the raid symbol is the um like a little parachute uh somebody's watch streak you can see all the watch streaks here it's a little fire emoji of course follows our hearts and i don't know about like bits and stuff i think the bit is just like the bit symbol like the little triangle thing oh polls and predictions please tell me please tell me are you kidding me 
you're gonna give me a mod view but you're not gonna give me access to slash poll crazy out of my mind out of this world i'm so mad <laughs> so activity speed there i'm very very angry okay so you give me shield mode but you don't give me poll okay <laughs> give me your quick actions here okay so these show you what all of these mean you have the clips you can clip uh you can share the stream give the link to other streamers or other chatters or whatever you have the raid channel give someone support they can read that for you uh you have shield mode which is for emergencies actually i'm so glad that shield mode is in this um even though i'm, I'm mad right now i'm mad but we'll get to that later uh we have slow mode which limits uh how many like chats a person can send so say it's like three seconds it's like a cooldown type thing uh we have emote only which limits chat to just only emotes besides mods and vips followers only limited to followers and subscriber only so those are all in order you can change them to whatever you want by clicking those three dots now the little shield is the auto mod so whatever pops up in auto mod will be here and you can either deny or allow mod action you can see what other mods in the streamer has done so obviously shout outs deleted messages uh, stuff like that. If somebody allowed or um, deleted a block term, that will be in there. And yeah. Then again, you can access all your widgets on the one at the end. So honestly, I love this. This is cute. I was not expecting for it to be so accessible and easy. Of course, it has a little bit of glitches. Like if you click somebody's name and try to go back, it just doesn't, mm -mm, doesn't work. I don't know why. It brings me like all the way back. I wonder if you just click this part. Okay, yeah. So if you click like the person's like little profile picture, it will show you who you're moderating for. But honestly, this is so cute. Your chat is kind of tinier, but also I feel like the text is bigger. So you can see like they kind of made it smaller. Like you can it's not as long width wise, but like the text, the font is bigger. It, at least that's what I see. I don't know if you can change that or not, but that is pretty cool. I honestly, I like it. I like the way this is set up. I was not, again, I wasn't expecting it to be so, like, easy, if that makes sense. How are you going to show me predictions and polls in the mod view, in the activity feed, but not give me access to do it? That's like literally the only complaint I had. I was so excited for this because I thought we were gonna finally get what we wanted, was pulls and predictions on mobile. We've been asking for it for years. And still not here. That's the biggest disappointment I've ever seen in my entire life. Top 10 anime portrayals right here was not getting pulls and predictions. I don't know if it's just like hard to code. I don't know what the issue is. I wish they would just tell us that they just can't do it. Instead of just making me wait and wait and wait. Like I wish there was like, you can type in the command and it would bring like a thing like this. Or add it as a widget. Add it as a widget. Add it as a widget. That would be sick. I wonder if they're going to limit it to like just four or five down here. Like if they add more widgets later on, like polls and predictions. Is it limited to five down here or are they going to make it smaller? Batch reporting tool. That would actually be kind of cool as a widget unban requests wait that would be such a cool widget uh channel points oh that's a good one i was thinking about this earlier when i saw the activity feed channel point redemptions refund complete that would be sick to be as a widget yeah maybe i'll make a video of what widgets i want to see on the new mod view um but yeah thank you so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i'm satisfied for the most part I think it's good as like a starter point, if you feel me. Like it's a good baseline of mod view. Like if you're just learning mod view, this is the way to do it. And I'm glad we're finally getting to the point where it could be accessible on mobile. This would be good on an iPad. If you have an iPad, it's over for all of you. I have an iPad. I don't know if you have an iPad. I have an iPad. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I will see you guys next time. Bye.